All right, let me um pull up the stream now, ladies and gentlemen. Pull up the chat. How's it going, everyone? How are we doing today? Good Saturday for everyone here. <clears throat> I'm doing pretty well myself, you know. No complaints. Let me see if I can pull up the chat now. Yo, what's up, Loxy Disaster? What's up, Blueberry Muffin? CM Casey, FH Bot, Absolute Zero. I am indeed live. How are we doing, guys? They pulled my Twitch chat as well. Perfect. I'm going to ping my Discord too. What's up, Planet Jeff? What's up, Sweetie? What's up, how are you? I'm doing pretty good underverse. How are you doing? Ryan, I have Star Captain. What should I do with it? You should win some games with it, dude. You have Star Captain. What else are you going to do with it, bro? Win some games. You know what I'm saying? Okay. One second, chat. Setting up the stream still. And then we should be good to go. And then we should be good to go. All right, perfect. What's good? How's it going? It's going pretty good, Amy. How you doing? How you doing? Proof that you're the real Ryan. Um, hi, my name is Ryan. I like to pop loons. Is that proof? I'm slowly getting to the mastery for Star Cop, and I hope I get it all. I hope so as well. How much? I have a lot of XP for Jericho. I'm pretty sure. Where is Jericho? I have 400, 300,000 for Star Captain, 945,000 for Highwayman, and 457,000 for Agent. Which hero do I have the most XP for? 853,000 for Binge, DJ Ben. How do I have, how do I have 1 million for Ocean Oban? I have 3 million for Oban. Oh my gosh. Dang. So, Oban's my most XP hero. Dang, I didn't... I don't know how it even happened, but... 3 million Oban. Okay. That actually surprised me. I did not expect to have 3 million Oban XP. You know? It surprised me, chat. Abused ocean bug revealed. Everyone like the stream. Hit that like button. Let's get it. We're going to as wiener here. Um, quite the name I've got to say. Quite the name as wiener. Castle runes. Do I want to play castle runes or do I want to skip this map? I think I'm going to hit it with a skip. Sun palace. Sun sun palace. Sun Palace. Let's hit him with the, the Churchill here. Full screen, please. I'll get full screen when I we hop in the match, brother. No point to full screen it when I'm just queuing for game and everything. Let's move out. I've made a lot of special modifications myself. The early seasons used to have XP multiplier stacking. That's how people gotcha. That makes sense. Bullet, are you acting like you didn't have two wars with 10k at the end? I'm gonna have still like 30k this war, so. Hey Ryan, can you play this strategy when you get an appropriate map? Dart Ice Farm or Dark Glue Farm? Cheers? Of course I can. Thank you so much for the donation, Joe. Appreciate that a lot, bro. W's in the chat from my man, Joe Lou. Starting the stream off hot with the $10 donation, bro. That's my man, Joe, right there. Dart Ice Farm or Dart Glue Farm is the, is the suggested strategies. Hmm. 
Don't know what hero I'd bring with it, but uh, maybe Churchill, maybe Gwyn. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we, that time comes. Yeah, they're going um Churchill as well here. So it's a Churchill mirror matchup, ladies and gentlemen. I actually kind of want to move my farm over here so it's closer to my farms. Best hero? Probably um Jericho right now. But I'd say Gwendolyn's a close second. Jadster offers you his greetings. Yo, Jadster. I offer my greetings back. How's it going? Is that a super chat I smell? Thank you. Hey, Ryan. Can you play this strategy when you get an appropriate map? Dart slash ice slash farm or dart slash glue slash farm. Dart slash ice slash farm or dart slash glue slash farm. Thanks. How do I brush your strategy so I can win slash drain your strategy? Uh, I don't know. ZOMG slash fortified ZOMG can be hard to defend. But a lot of the time, if you're playing someone who's good, it, they'll still survive to around 30 pretty easily. <clears throat> yeah, they got their engineer down. I can place my engineer for a little bit. Have you ever played against player in Hom? He's been using on every map. I cannot win against him. Oh yeah, I play against him all the time. Yo, Blueberry Muffins says, I love you. Thank you so much for the donation. I love you too. As a viewer, um, just that, but thank you for the donation. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you, thank you. Ryan, someone has a crush on you? Dude, I know everyone has a crush on me. It's not just someone. It, I... I get so many people having crushes on me, dude. It's, you know, that's just how it be. Thank you, though, for the donation. I really appreciate it, Blueberry Muffins. Is that a super chat I smell? Thank you. Plantation. Ryan Riz Hal. Like, I just have too much Riz. Isn't Super Bedwins back here? I do not think so. Thank you. I love you, heart. I hope you mean it in like a in like a friendly way, because when you say I love you, in like a I don't know how to say it. You know, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Not in a uh, relationship type way. Okay, Sentry Expert. Super Defense ZOMG is easier though, right? Yeah, but Super also dies against like one or two fortified BADs. You have to spend a million and a half dollars. And you can defend ZOMGs with SPAC, it's just more difficult. I think SPAC's better though, for sure. I think Spac's a lot better. Okay, we're good. I love watching your vids and having an ice cold beer. Do you rush Supermind by round 30 with the strategy? Uh, yeah, for round 30 defense, I get up a super mines, a triple XL trap. Is what I normally do. If they send me ZOMGs and maybe, um, maybe a century champion as well, and you overclock the things. If they send you BADs, you can go for a carpet of spikes. With a triple XL. I'm just kidding, Ryan. Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate the donation a lot, Blueberry Muffins. Thank you so much. Blueberry Muffins and Joe starting the stream up hot, guys, with two donations. Ryan, do alt eco video, please. Okay, I might do I might do an alt eco video for you guys. Do you guys want an alt eco guide? 
showing you how to heli farm, druid farm, and um, sniper farm to the best of your ability. Banana farms are very hard for me. I don't think it's easy, but intuitive. I have a farm guide um, on my YouTube channel. I don't think I have a command for it yet, but I can make a command for it. Yes, please. Especially after plant nerf. Yeah, I got you. Round 18, is he gonna send me? Okay, we're good. 100 likes on the stream and Ryan hits the gritty. I'm, I'm not sure about that one. Bro, gritties come out few in between. Gritties are not uh are not common these days, bro. They're they're running out of running into extinction. Yeah, double double balloon trap here. Let's actually move my farmer next to the balloon traps. What do you think about the bank adjustment next update? With both ice farm still be good. Um, I don't think Boat Ice Farm will be near as good next update because they lowered the, they slowed down the, um, Monkeynomics initial cooldown. But Bank might be good next update. I'll definitely have to test around with the Bank. But Boat Ice Farm's definitely got a pretty big nerf in the next update. Worth when opponent doesn't have Jerry? Yeah, it's still worth. Definitely still worth. Normally when I'm against Jerry, I get three or four balloon traps. I don't think it's gutted. I think it'll just be worse. Yes. Old eco guide is just eco guide. Plus, you buy old eco towers. Just copy paste with your eco guide and round 19 ish. Uh, not exactly. Because you also have to know the scenarios into which. into when to buy spring certain old ecos and then. um, know when to stop building up old eco compared to when they're gonna rush you. It's a little bit. It's not exactly just copy paste the eco guide and change like one thing. I wonder if we're going for a round 24 monkey wall streak here, by the way, would be the plan. Right. Ben will be indirectly buffed, Ryan, that's true. Um Ben also did get directly buffed. He got the price uh reduction to what was it? Ben got a price reduction to um $900 in the recent update. How much do these sell for? 8k, 23k roughly? Okay. But also with the bank run, yeah, with the bank buff that also buffs Benjamin, I agree. Defending a regular ZMG with super is awful. It's not that awful. I mean, you can defend it pretty cheap with a Sun Avatar and Churchill level 10 ability. But most people don't do that. They defend with like Tech Terror, which is way too expensive. Yeah, Tech Terror for a normal ZMG is an awful trade. Even with the eco you lose from the Zeom gene stuff, it's still a really bad trade for you. Um, I think Triple XL is honestly the best play against this. It's ramped a lot. And I should be able to forward Triple XL without selling a farm in time. So, that's gonna be my plan. Pretty sure Triple XL is just the best play against this since it's ramped. We're good. Alright. Well, that kind of got scary because he sent those things with it. 8k. Oh, they just surrender. Nice work, soldier. I mean... 
Not exactly. On it defends a lot. It defends a lot on Dino Graveyard if you have Triple XL and you're getting the insides, but on a map like on a map like um Sun Palace, you'll defend like two or three F bads with a overclocked big plane. It only defends that well on like Dino Graveyard. Or an ELO system, any update? I don't know. Um, they did not update the ELO system. Also, how much score did I get for that game? How much score did I get for that game? Yeah. Dart Ice Farm was the request. 30. What's up, Mono Dinero? What is your favorite tower? My favorite tower is probably Dartling. 30, 30? Okay. There we go. Not exactly sure how to use this loadout, but we'll try for my boy Joe. For my boy Joe. And you can also request a strategy for a $10 donation, guys. So if anyone wanted to request, that's how you do it. That's why I'm going Dart Ice Farm, because Joe requested it. Me win Joe, Joe win me. Okay, what do I? S hmm. Let's start with Gwyn. Get Arctic Wind and Camo Jugs for round thirteen. Might just go Icicles with a Camo Jug, or something. Send him some space greens. This will be a crossbow. I want to see Dart Ice pop in a bad. Dart Ice can pop a bad. It's weak against group CMGs though. But Plasma Monkey Fan Club and Super Brittle is pretty strong against BADs. Please play Bolt Elk Spike Factory once the stream. Okay, I will. I will. Oh, I didn't get my farm down in time. I missed the banana. That's unfortunate. This early game defense seems to be doing decent. I don't know what to add though. Is the thing I already have the crossbow. And I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need additional defense against um, black balloons and especially yellow balloons. So I don't know what the best addition is. Maybe a sport. Not sure. Why do you start with crossbow? Because crossbow is pretty good to start with. Pretty strong, pretty cheap. I don't know why I'm sending greens, by the way, as well. Shouldn't have been sending greens there. Okay, we're gonna use this, and so we get it back for round seven. And it buys me some time. And we're gonna go for a sport. It seems to be doing decent. It's not doing that bad. Against black balloons. And it should defend yellows somewhat. Maybe. I'm gonna have Cocktail back to help me out against yellows, so... Once yellows start pushing through, because I, I don't think I'll defend constant yellows if I don't have an un if I have an uncross path sport, so... Once I start pushing through a little bit, I'll use my Cocktail to buy me time. Would be the plan. Right now, and we'll get our plantation up. 
Yeah, this worked out pretty well overall. For being someone who's like never played the strategy before, or doesn't really go dart overall as well, I feel like I'm doing decent with my greed and defense strategy. Okay, we're actually starting to struggle a little bit now. Because now stuff is getting through the start, so my first targeting sport is getting obliterated. We're fine, though. We're fine. Ryan, did you know Crossbow and Quincy's range is more balloons? I did not know that, actually. Thank you for telling me. All right, double plantation. We'll get Jug up now. If they send me a rush here, I should just be able to use Cocktail because my Jug will pop the top layer of stuff pretty well. Okay, no rush. All right. We can sell the crossbow probably. We don't need the crossbow anymore. I'd like to get this up to an icicles. <clears throat> icicles and camo jug should be pretty solid combination. But if they don't rush me, I'm gonna go for a third farm. Alright, now I'm gonna go for the now I'm gonna go for the icicles here in a second. Perfect. Alright. Why camo jug? Cause if I don't have a camo jug, then my icicles gets the struggles against uh camel zebras and stuff. The really good part about the jug, though, here is that the really good part about the camo jug here and jug overall is that um the top layers of balloons will be stripped pretty well, so then my cocktail shouldn't get extinguished by purples. Darling Druido, they're going Darling um Druid Village here, aren't they? Okay, well this is gonna be probably should have tried killing them around thirteen to be honest, but we'll take it late. I might still be able to win, just because this map gets anti-stole a ton, so I do have that, that one thing running for us here. The map's anti-stole is really strong here. So I've got that going for me. If they send me mob class, I'll have to get defense, obviously. My current mob class defense is non-existent. Took down a Popology member yesterday in ZMG. Nice. Good work. Oh. Crossbow just instantly popped the ceramics into nothing. The sharpshooter. That's what happens when you get the crit, ladies and gentlemen. I probably didn't even need the crossbow, to be honest. I think a sharpshooter would have soloed that. I don't think the crossbow was needed. Because I boosted. If I didn't boost, I might have needed two sharpshooters. I'm not sure, but... That was a, f that was a fortified mob LMS. But I boosted with it. But it was fortified mob. Got 2000 eco. I don't think the crit does 50 damage. Maybe it does. I don't know how much the crit actually does, but that was less than 50. 
Favorite Nintendo console? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm gonna send them um something here. One of these. Now they're gonna have to stop their eco entirely to try to save up for Spear of the Forest, and it's gonna be really difficult for them to afford Spear of the Forest either way, because the rounds have gotten anti-stalled a lot here, so. This might have a decent chance of killing them. I'm gonna balloon boost as well just to put more pressure. I think they'll forward it though. They'll forward it and they'll probably have to boost and get like a jungle drums village to pop it down in time. Yeah, they afford it. Uh, they might actually be good. They have they have a decent amount of map space left. Nah, it's not that hard to afford. Funny name. It's not as difficult, especially if you just full stop your eco for it. But we forced it anyway, so we forced their defense. And the good thing about forcing uh, Spear of the Forest is that it anti-stalls, right? So now they're anti-stalling themselves as well. Um, 8k, 16k, okay. Okay, send me a Zebra Eco, which is definitely not wise, so W for Ryan. Don't want to send Zebra Eco here. What's up, Ryan? How's it going, Taha? How you doing? I get two of these just to make sure that. We're embridding everything. Just defends, I think. Yeah, well, especially if I use Gwendolyn Firestorm. The Gwendolyn Firestorm is incredibly good against DTs because it adds plus one damage and then plus one lead damage. So two extra damage to my darts against DTs. Plasma Monkey Fan Club good against Bads. That's pretty good against F Bads, um, especially with Super Brittle. I'm not sure if I'll win this game, though. Again, Darling Druid Village is really good late game. Probably should have tried to kill them round 13. Probably had a decent chance at it. But I think I've got a shot. My farms are decent enough where I can send a lot. Should be able to send a lot at them. Are you trying to go for now? You'll see absolute zero. Okay, wait. I should stop sending BADs. They got their defense up against the early BADs, kinda. I think I should stop sending for a little bit. They got up all three fifth tier druids. I should wait and resend more later. 
going to be the smartest decision. Okay. Let's actually not die here. Wait. No. I got it up on a... Yeah, we're good. They can just life rejuvenate Daryl with Spear of the Forest. There's no point in taking around 40. Yeah, they're dead. They have to they're gonna counter me with DTs probably. GG! Let's go! That was an intense one, bro. Dardice farm. With Mad. I mean he couldn't they couldn't afford MAD, Fally. They hadn't they didn't have near enough money to afford MAD. They sent me two fortified bads. There's no way they're affording MAD. And if they w didn't send me any fortified bads and went for MAD or something, then I probably would have um just w kept all my farms up, my like seven BRFs and Banana Centro and sent them a big rush later. Dardis farm on a scale of 10. Um, I don't know. I'll go it again if we get this map. I'm not sure. I've only played one game with it, so maybe seven. So I'm not going to go on Dino Graveyard. This isn't a good map for the strat. And at least in my opinion, it wouldn't be. Hey, Ryan, how's it been? Also, thank you so much for helping me with tips when I was in Ceramic Crucible. Now I'm going to be FB Coliseum pushing ZMG Superdome. Thank you so much for helping, Ryan. Of course. Of course, Bert. That's what I'm here for. With ta Without Village, I don't know how late Dart can go. Oh, well, Dart Ice, Dart Ice Farm would probably die against... All out group ZMGs around 30, but the thing is, for the opponent to be able to send you a ton of ZMGs and defend on their own side can be difficult. And you can stall the ZMGs a really long time with ice. So it's not that simple. I like the strategy. I played this strategy once during Clan Wars where they had special rules. Gotcha, yeah. I remember that as well. I played when they had in special rules in Clan Wars.
We made them leak, which is good. I'll take that. I'll take it. Don't see you struggle to see where your cursor is when there's billions of things on the screen. I do. I sometimes struggle. I've gotten better at seeing it, though, but at, at times I definitely struggle to locate where my cursor is. I've had that happen to me before. It happens to all of us. Ripped full screen? Oh, my bad. Crap. It's boost. Dang it, bro. I didn't want to boost that, but I can't let give him the life advantage. I just couldn't remove this obstacle. I never could afford it. I need to remove it to make my, make me not leak. The life advantage is so important in this matchup. Okay, we're fine now. Better than Alchemist on this map? Uh, Darley Elk Farm is not a very good strategy on long maps overall, so yes. I would not recommend Darley Elk Farm on this map. Okay, I just upgraded my Dartling, so I didn't leak. Because again, le keep staying a life advantage is really important for me here. Do you think Ninja's Pierce should be buffed for early games? Sometimes I Ninja Elk Farm, I always bleed out with 100 plus lives. Um, Ninja Elk Farm, you want to rely on Alchemist slot for your early game. But yeah, I don't know. I, th I think Ninja's in a fine spot for the most part. It could maybe be buffed a little bit, but you've got to bring Ocean Open to buff its Pierce. And Alchemist is what you should be utilizing a lot of the time to help you early game. Destroy every balloon for the people. I got you, John. It's twitchy. I got you, bro. I'll destroy it for the people. Hi. Yo, what's up? Shaleen. Yeah, if if you could target Ocean Open trees, Ocean Open would be so much better. That's the one thing normal opens kind of got on Ocean Open. Well, and yeah, that's the that's the main thing I think. What regular opens got going for it. Targetable trees are really good to have. No rush, it looks like. Okay. This round got stalled a lot. Look at that. Are you joining the Discord Nightbot? <laughs> Bro's got beef with Nightbot. Give my fire buff to my Dartlings, Gwendolyn. Buff my Dartlings. Okay. It's not buffing my Dartlings. It, the Nightbot's there for people who haven't joined the Discord yet, guys. That's the point of the Nightbot. You can relax. Alright. Pretty good farms. Dash Rider and the thing in the stream and it's literally called Shredding Balloons, but you are not using the Ace Monkey? I'm shredding the balloons with the other towers, bro. I just put the Sky Shredder in the thumbnail and named it Shredding Balloons to show how strongly I'm popping the balloons. I'm shredding them with the Dartling right now. Am I not 
Am I not shredding through these balloons, brother? Am I not shredding through these balloons right now? You should have seen me last time. I was shredding through the balloons with Dardai's farm. Nightbot makes me angry. Guys, you gotta chill on Nightbot, bro. You gotta chill on Nightbot. Pop off, Ryan. Alright, I'll try my best. Ryan Metallica, yo, how's it going? Dog, how you doing, bro? Then put a VTSG, because we all know Sky Shredder isn't shredding the balloons for you. Do Winston's not in the room, guys. You're not supposed to use exclamation point dog if he's not here. We've gone over this. Is Ryan, is NK going to fix the ELO system next update? N uh, they didn't say anything about it in the patch notes, so I assume no. But I'm not sure. I gotta go now. That was a great game. You played with Darius Farm later. Yo, see you, Joe. Thank you for stopping by. For, thank you for the donation as well. Have a good one. Have a good one. Alright, we're gonna go to like 2k eco here. Winston is the best dog. He is indeed the best dog. Why is there Moab red? What? Is it fortified? I can't. I don't even know. Why is it red? I think it's fortified by the speed I'm popping it. Yeah, it's fortified. What? It's a visual glitch, Ryan. <laughs> Why? Bro sent around bro sent around 19 BFB. The bug Bro sent a BFB. Pay to win skin, indeed. Two thousand one eco. I gotta get over two. I got 2001 just to make everyone angry that I don't have 2000. So, L plus ratio. Where's some good strats on the sun map? Uh, engineer, spike factory, farm. With, um,. Churchill is pretty good on the sun map. We have BFB at home. BFB at home. I want to say thanks for keeping it classy. I heard a streamer that was yelling at their chat for not subscribing, calling them poor. Your content is way better. You don't yell at us. I'm glad, I'm glad that you think I'm classy. Thank you for tuning in, John. Yeah, some, some streamers, I don't know, are weird like that. Okay, what's the best way to defend a regular ZMG with my loadout? I'm not actually sure. Maybe Sun Avatar? Um, 30k, 38k, 42k. Wait. See, this, I'm in a bit of a pickle now, aren't I? I'm in a bit of a, a bit of a pickle. Not even close. Not even close. Not even close. Not even close, ladies and gentlemen. I told you it would work. Nice defend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
24 score. It had it had two damage because of the Gwendolyn Firestorm. That's why it defends, guys. The Gwendolyn Firestorm literally doubles the damage of the Sun Avatar. <clears throat> GG Ryan, that was me. Yo, GG Daryl. The Gwendolyn Firestorm doubles the damage of it. Is Rio you better than Boltrix? I am better than Boltrix. When is it best to go Monkey Wall Street versus directly for Banana Central? Um, when I've got really good farming, I go for Banana Central first. So like there, I had around 24 Banana Central. If I'm a little bit worse on the farming, I go for Monkey Wall Street first. Or if I have overclock in my strategy. You have two different types combined. Um, I'm talk I'm streaming on YouTube and Twitch right now, so lots of time I'm re responding to YouTube messages. But I have two different chat boxes that I'm reading from. The chat boxes are just uh, next to each other. Full screen. Okay, they're going boomerang here. Is Bomb Ice Village good? I use it once since really different F-Bads all the rounds. I don't think Bomb Ice Village is really is that good. If you're gonna use Bomb Village, I'd recommend bring in probably Farm or Heli as your third. With Bomb Village. I don't think Ice is that good paired with it, but I don't know. Bring village, bring a uh, hellier farm with, as a your third with bomb village. So I have to say we have 129 viewers and 36 likes. You don't have to have a degree in finance or a minor in math to know that ain't a good ratio. That's true. That is not a good ratio. Like the stream, guys. Let's balloon boost them some yellows because I don't think they can afford their Rico yet. Oh, he went for a back boomerang? That's not what you want to do, bro. You want to just build up the ricochet. Now it's going to be even harder to forge your ricochet because you're going to have to sell it and you're going to take a sell loss. That's just... That's not the play. It's not the play. You just save straight up for it. I think he's dead. Because now it's it's not going to bounce well. Uh, actually, no, he got some good bounces. He's good. He got some good bounces off of his boomerang. If he didn't get good bounces there, he's dead. But he got good bounces. Bro got some good bounces. He did get, get some good bounces. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Oh, they're stealing from me? Okay, let's um try to upgrade this farm here in a second. Avoid some of the steel. I only I didn't avoid that much of it though. And we should probably sell our farmer as well. So it's boomerang farm is their loadout. If this was Rick if this was Bulltrix, the Rico would have thrown so bad. Yeah, if this if, if this was Bulltrix, he would be dead right now. His ricochet wouldn't have tried. We already know that. Bulltrix's ricochet doesn't try. Ever. Guys, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch what I'm gonna do. Crap. It's so expensive. I don't think it's worth it, but if, if it catches my opponent off guard, it might kill them. Like, it cost a thousand dollars. But I, I upgraded the camo um to adjusted camos around early. Because they're weak already. Oh, I didn't I didn't upgrade it fast enough though. There wasn't enough camel balloons that came out. Dang it. I need I needed the camel balloons to come out stronger. Okay, yeah, that, that didn't work. That didn't work. Never mind. That was not worth the thousand dollars I spent. But it is what it is. Yeah. 
Okay, we want to wait till I get level six Jericho before I use my second steel. Should be round 10 that I get it because I upgraded Jericho. They're dead. Oh, never mind. They got more up. They're good. Avoid the seal. We did a pretty good job at avoiding it. All right. GG. Probably too busy eco with purples. Buff more glaives. Oh yeah, more glaives should definitely defend that. For real, for real. Uh, clan war's going good. We're destroying the... We didn't really have much competition in this war so far. Probably do clan war games this stream at some point. Why do you keep placing balloon bots and farmers every game? Exclamation point balloon bot or exclamation point farmer in the chat. For your answer. And I'll give you your answer. When we go back to Brawl Stars, I've never played Brawl Stars before. Why do you have so many? Because why not? Why not? This is the real question. Exclamation point dog goes crazy. This is Winston, say hi to him. True. Is that eSport? Yeah, it is. We're on a level above popping, went straight to shredding balloons. True. Crap. Hi, right, Winston. Yo, what's up, Mast? With the $10 donation, Winston says hi back. Thank you for the dono, bro. Appreciate it a lot. How's it going, Mast? I like the stream because the like ratio is bad. True. Like ratio is indeed bad. So you gotta like it. I don't make the rules. Low key, you should challenge Bull Tricks. Bro, I destroy Bull Tricks, bro. I don't know if it'd be much of a challenge. Iron, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Do the Bloombot and Farmer take up map space? Not on this map. On other maps, yeah, they do on, if you place them where you're gonna place towers and stuff. On this map, I'm placing them in a location where you can't place any towers. That's why you buy the Bloombot balloon, balloon and Farmer spots from me.
Everyone like the stream, indeed like the stream. Exclamation point farmer. Why science Gwen and not normal? Science Gwen pairs better with ice than normal Gwen. Because science Gwen buffs frozen damage. Shards. Wait, no. We're good. Fine. Ice almost threw. Yeah, it did almost throw. You are correct there. Do you have a not even close sticker? I do not have a not even close sticker. Five minutes juicy nap, nice. You gotta love the juicy naps. Am I dead? No, I'm not. What? How does that kill me, bro? What did I even die to? That's crazy. I don't even know what I died to. I made him sell his farm there, too. That's unlucky. This game sucks. It does suck. Does indeed suck. That's balloons for you. We all do, John. I don't know a single person in the community who likes them.
What's your score right now? I'll check after this game. I'm going for number one this season. I'm not. No. How do you get that much monkey money? Um, just play, playing a bunch of games. Pretty much. Any advice for me? I always over equal with comps. I'm not used to. I got rushed with purple serums. The DDTs and can't react to time because uh, you just got to play more. You learn when to stop equaling and stuff how to react faster, prepare for rushes, just with experience a lot of the time. That's stuff that comes with experience. Uh, he's been banned on like five accounts, Daryl. He, he just gets banned and makes a new account. He's been banned on multiple um, accounts. Not for stream sniping, for... Uh, account sharing for cheating, for uh, boosting people, intentionally losing games to inflate their score. He's been banned on like four different, five different accounts. He just makes another one, continues playing. You know why h 2 Time doesn't stream anymore? I do not know. Wait, what? How did I even kill them? I wasn't paying attention to what happened. I was not paying attention. 28 score, I'll take it. Thoughts on the new balance changes? Uh, I don't really like them that much. I feel like they didn't nerf any of the meta towers, really. And they also buffed mob domination, which didn't really need a buff. And they didn't buff the other fifth tier boomerangs, which did need buffs. Kind of missed the mark. They missed the mark with the update. Then she lose one. I'm not counting losses against eSport, because... He stream snipes and watches me during the, every game, so no point to count him if he's cheating. I'm not counting wins against him either. Just games against him, I don't count. What are your comments on Boltrix? Boltrix is a pretty cool guy. I'm friends with him. I mean, every time I play him when I'm not streaming Zane, I win. But when I'm streaming, it's a lot harder, obviously. I'm preoccupied with chat, and he's watching my money. He knows my strategy. He knows what I'm going to do. But pretty much every time I played him when I'm not streaming, I win. So, he's definitely not the best player. He's not bad, I would say, but he's not fantastic. You're better? Definitely. I mean, I have two top one badges. He has one top two badge in a season that he boosted, so... Just based off badges alone, I'm much better than him.
Should Superstorm fine or not? In what time you get to Hole Masters? What do you mean by in what time you get to Hole Masters? I've been in Hole Masters for a long time since the game started. Almost. Maybe a month after the game started. Only watch Ryan because of his cute face, not the gameplay. Uh, I think a lot of people do that. I think that's pretty common. Isn't it I'm the one with the C? What are you talking about? What do you mean, isn't it I'm the one with the C? Bro loves Ocean Open. Dude, who doesn't love Ocean Open, bro? Ocean Open's the homie. Like, why would you hate on Ocean Open? One equal boost and get my fine. All right, we're good. Right. 
nothing to worry about, chat. We're alive and well. We're really one with the sea. I won with the sea, I won with the sea, I won with the sea, I won with the sea. True. I probably could have defended an all out. I would have had three Alk buffed Razor Rotors with Gwendolyn. But I did definitely mess up using Cocktail there. I shouldn't have used Cocktail. Alright, we're doing good. Got double rubber to gold up. And this decamos a lot of the balloons for me, so then the rubber to gold hits them. So it works out pretty well. Support Chinook. We need to rebuy that ninja. When a rubber gold hits a regrow and you regrow farm it, do you get infinite money? I'm not actually sure. I get that question a lot and I don't know. Ryan, I can't hear you, sorry. I wasn't talking. Just trying to build up my heli farms here. Stop at 4k eco. They sold their monkey Wall Street for, for a banana central. That's interesting.
Okay. Let's put Gwen here for now. Actually, just put it right here. We need to save up for a perma brew here. Gwendolyn in the range of all these ninjas because it can buff the damage of them. Dude, I'm dead. I can't move my perma brew, bro. I'm so mad. I can't move it. It's not a perma brew. It was a stronger stimulant, not a perma brew. Read the chat. Oh, well, that's why I died. That makes sense. I didn't even buy the perma brew. <laughs> that makes sense why I died. I was wondering why I wasn't popping anything. Dang, I, I threw that game so hard. That's the only type of mistakes you make while you're streaming, too. If I wasn't streaming, I would have known for sure that wasn't a perma brew. You get caught up in the moment, dude. That's the that's that's what I'm talking about when I say when it's streaming, it's so much harder. If I was just playing that game for a video or something, I 100% would have been able to realize that that wasn't a perma brew. I was wondering why none of my ninjas were brewed as well. I was clicking on the ninjas, I didn't see the perma brew go the perma brew um icon on any of them. I was wondering for a second why that wasn't happening. That was the biggest throw of all time. Oh well. I missed it, what happened? I didn't buy a perma brew when I thought I bought it. So I lost. I thought I had perma brew for like two minutes and I didn't have it. It still did not that bad. It did a lot worse than it would have done. I'm my ninjas were doing two damage instead of four damage, basically. And they didn't have extra attack speed or pierce. So the perma brew makes a huge difference there. I probably would have defended that entire rush with what I with the ninjas I had if I had perma brew on them. Yeah, 
Yeah, I didn't realize I upgraded the... When I thought I upgraded to Perma Brew, I, I upgraded to Berserker Brew, which was the issue there. So I just had a Berserker Brew, which bu was buffing like one ninja the entire time. Did you finish your war games yet? I did not. I'll probably do them sometime soon. That's annoying though. I've like never made that mistake before when I'm recording a video. It's just something that would happen while you're streaming. Okay, we're good. Or even just playing while I'm not recording at all. Some of the weirdest games I've had in a long time. Yeah, they use Cocktail there. Yo, what's up, Zpex? I'll probably boost against these yellows here in a second. Boost. Attack of the village will be met on star now. Um, I don't know. Probably not. Maybe though. Blue did get pre some pretty big buffs. What tower slash heroes should I unlock first? Banana Farm and Jericho would be the two things I'd unlock first. I don't think Inferno Ring will be OP. It's been buffed so many times, it's always been garbage. He got it back up. They're good. Can't believe I forgot to buy Perma Brilo. That's so annoying. I threw the easiest win. I had that game. I would have been able to defend everything. Ricochet here. Burner ring with two, less DPS than two overdrives under Homeland. True. Rush your strategy slash win slash drain your strategy. Uh, my strategy can't really get drained that well. I mean, it, it dies against like one fortified dot on round 30. The strategy defends most rushes pretty well. You have to spend a lot of money to defend DTs though with this strat.
Oh, they got a Moab thing. I think they're good against this then. Let's see. Well, if they're good, if they get a press. If not, if they don't get a press, they need to boost. They're dead. Yeah. They targeted their cocktail way too far up. If they targeted farther back, let their let their press and their shell shock pop the ceramic layer. The cocktail could have popped those zebras down, but they targeted the cocktail too high up, so they got destroyed there. How easy is it to get to Hom? It's not that bad. I think you could get it if you could pr practice it and watch my videos and stuff. Defended a whole fortified bound and cover command on boost, and I was like speechless. What happened? Yeah, it's getting a buff in the next update. And the Moab Dom's getting a buff in the next update, too. Reed Richards. Honestly, it might go Dardice Farm again on this map. It was pretty fun. I found you on Twitch. I watched you on YouTube before and watched you there. You streams. Well, welcome, X Prism. Yeah, I do stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Thank you for stopping by. How are you doing? Karma charge would get bonus lead damage, so it could defend DTs. True. That could be pretty cool. Is Boltrix better than you? I wouldn't say so. I'd say I'm better than Boltrix at battles. But Boltrix is the homie though. Acid pool deals camo damage. Yes, we. Do. Yes, acid pool does deal camo damage now, which will be interesting. It will be interesting. Hello. I'm gonna try something this game. If I get another eco boost here, I think I might. I want to go for a farm early. Yeah. I like this play. Especially because they're sending me only reds. You'd need a lot of them, Ataria, to deal with DTs, but yeah, maybe do it. I got my crossbow up. We need a- we want a BO3 against you and Boltrix. Boltrix doesn't do competitive content. He's more of a casual player. Wizard attack Boomer and a team with Gwendolyn in what arena do you think it can reach? Um, you could probably reach Hole Masters with that loadout to be honest. Um, I wouldn't say it's a good Hole Masters loadout, but it's pretty decent in the lower arenas. Because you can defend early game. Which is all you need to do. Rush your opponent. I'm just going to save up for my plantation here early. With only a crossbow on the map. Yeah, I don't have any problem with what Boltrix... You don't have to be competitive when you play Battles 2, dude. It's like a... It's a monkey game, bro. Boltrix makes his content, I make my content. I don't see the... I don't think there's any issue. With it. Plantation. Okay, our, our targeting starting to get messed up a little bit. This is bad. I need this cocktail to come around here. Badly.
Cocktail. Cocktail saves me from despair. Boost. Alright, we're good. Hi Ryan, I love your videos. Thank you for posting daily. Yo, John with the two dollar donation. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you for stopping by daily, bro. W's in the chat from my man John Abercrombie. The homie. No, no. Someone said I should use quick shots on my, my previous game instead of camo detection. So I'll try quick shots. That cocktail value, dude, the cocktail is so good. It's so strong. Of course, man, just had lunch. I saw you're streaming. Well, I hope you had a good lunch. Alright, it's, it's Boomerang Sniper. We don't know what the third is. We got our jug up. So the problem of not going for a camo jug is now I have camo issues since camo zebras. I, I feel like going for you're supposed to go for a camo jug here. They're not sending me, but if they did send me, I'd need... I guess this can pop some of the camo zebras. Hmm. Really like this strat. Yeah, it was a fun strat. Super chat I smell. Thank you. Hi Lion, I love our videos. Ty for posting daily less than three. Less than three. The jug spawn on this map is pretty solid though, for sure. Okay, send me some region rainbows. I don't think that does anything though. Those get annihilated. Use cocktail against camel zebras. The problem is if they send camel zebras and then camel purples on top, my cryo cannon won't hit all of the camel purples, and it will just go through. Because the camel zebras, the camel purples will just block the cocktail. I'd I'd need to get icicles, and it can get weird. Going back, welcome back, A in place. Jug spawn on this map is great. Yeah, the jug spawn on this map is really good. I think I might try going for an early Monkey Wall Street this game. See if I can do that. Like around 22, around 23 Monkey Wall Street. With like 1500 eco. So I'll go a little bit less eco. And more farm focused. There's 1500. <clears throat> I do remember that, Daryl. Ryan, would Dart Ice Village technically work? I mean, it could probably work on some maps. I don't know if it'd be that good. It should defend. It freezes them in the, in the cocktail range is the idea. Oh no. Okay, when you get icicles then the cocktail ran out. That was a smart defense though, it froze them right where the cocktail was, so. I think we I think we cooked kinda with that defense there. We were cooking for sure. Does this pop the Moab down? I don't even know. I'm gonna hope this does. Come on, crossbow. Come on, crossbow. Do I need sharpshooter? I definitely need sharpshooter, right? Yeah. Dang it. I didn't want to spend that money, bro. Oh, I get the second central market up late.
12k, 27k, okay. Okay, he's sending me, move your cam please, okay. Sending me a ZMG. We're gonna go for that against the ZMG. Fan club OP, ladies and gentlemen. Fan club OP. You just double fan club it. You double fan club. Look at that. Look at that! That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Nice defend, thank you. They surrendered. <laughs> oh, it's funny. They surrendered. The fan club was too much for them to handle. I'm gonna do war. Damage multipliers go crazy with dart, that's true. Yeah, I had firestorm, which added damage, and I had embrittlement, which added damage. Sorry, if you use the tier 5 fan club, can they just send purples? They can, um, Valley, but you also can have, like, a juggernaut on the map to pop the purple layers. You can use ice to pop the purple layers. You can use crossbow master to pop the purple layers. Like, you have a ton of stuff in your loadout that'll pop purples for you. So your fan club doesn't get blocked. Nightbot is so mean. Nightbot is indeed mean. Nightbot's a meanie head. Alright, do word I'll trust. Alright, I'll trust. Yo, John Abercrombie giving me the banana for a dollar forty nine. Thank you for the banana, bro. We can't do Wordle because we just found a match, so. Oh Wordle. John saying don't slip. Oh man, I almost slipped on that banana. I'll be honest. That was a close one. I almost slipped on it. Precious space. The space is precious. Um, what do I want to play here? Bro gave him the banana. He did give me the banana. Go druid sub farm. We'll go druid sub farm here. I'm already the best Wordle player ever, Pori. I'm already the best Wordle player ever. It's my favorite sticker, dude. It's the best sticker. Is that a super chat I smell? Oh, look at me hit that gritty, bro. Oh, yeah. Is that a super chat I smell? Thank you. Ryan Mahala clan versus Frozen Bloons YT. Oh, this guy's in a YouTuber's clan, bro. No way. We're facing against a YouTuber, chat. Guys, we're facing against a YouTuber. I'm so nervous. Start with our druid here. Get the farmer down. Get the balloon bot down. You're, are you going to be on TV? I am going to be on TV, dude. I'm so excited. Ryan, do you watch NFL? Um, not that often. I mostly just if the Browns make it to the playoffs, then I'll watch them get destroyed. It's basically um 
the extent of the NFL I watch. What does the balloon bot do? You can select a, you can click the balloon bot and then select a balloon and it auto sends the balloon for you until, and then you to unselect it, you just click the balloon bot again. So you don't have to click your keys or whatever. You can just keep sending balloon if you want. The Browns, guys, at least we made it to the playoffs. All right. You know, it's not that bad. Okay. You should have just went for a ricochet, bro. These boomerang players don't know how to play early game, dude. All right, you should be a Bengals fan. Uh, I have family in Cleveland. That's my, mostly why I'm a Browns fan. I have a lot of family there. I go there quite often to Cleveland. Well, and I'm from Ohio, but that's why I'm not a Bengals fan instead of Browns. Yeah, we still need to think a little bit more for my Druid, so... Where are the leaks at? Where are the leaks at, gentlemen? One twenty-seven. My math calculations say that is good. Uh, my math calculations were almost correct. Math, my math calculations were almost correct there. W Druid leaks. W Druid leaks indeed. We leaked that blue balloon to help my Druid out a little bit. Intentional leak. The math is mathin. True. Okay, it's enemy yellows here. I'm just gonna boost this. I did leak a little bit because I boosted late, but it's fine. Awesome. Alright, we're gonna second farm here. I think they get their second steal sometime soon. I probably should sell my farmer so I can avoid the Jericho steal. Are they stealing? I don't even know how I'd avoid it right now. Oh no, they're stealing. I'm not avoiding it well. Oh no. I did not avoid that well at all. My money was in such a weird position where I couldn't spend to avoid it. I had such a weird amount of money. They're going Boomer Mortar. We don't know what the third is. We get our reactor up. Yeah, we can fit the third sub, which is good. So I got my placements correct. Watch Ryan pop balloons. That's what I'm saying. This guy gets it. Now, if they don't rush me here. I don't need to cross path my submarine. JP's hosting a tourney with $500 for first place. Win. Is this real or is this just them saying it and haven't set anything up? $500 for first place is a big tournament for someone to host, who I haven't really heard about as well. Because that means that the prize pool overall, unless you're only going to give a first place prize, is going to be like $1,000 minimum, probably. He said that on the other day on the stream. Let me check his Discord.
Be more spec on this map is not smart. Yeah. But you have to be aggressive with Boomer Morse back. 1k prize pool is nuts, it is nuts. Finish Popology Tournament? Nice. Yeah, we should be good against this. I can't get Druid League slow because I've been throwing down my brambles in the... Robux Raid? Oh, Mawa, welcome to the stream. Robux Raid indeed. How are you doing? Ryan, your raids are still not on? I can see when people raid me. Spoonal has raided me before and people have... And it shows like a message in the chat, so I don't know. Maybe it got changed somehow, but I appreciate the raid. I hope you guys had a good tournament. Don't they die to FBFB? No, they just get up a Moab press and then maybe sell their more glaives for a battery. They can defend an FBFB pretty easily. They'll die with their current defense, but they can build up defense easily. They're stealing from me again. Try to avoid the steal. Spend money. And whatnot. Oh, trees. Yeah, there should be... Pretty simple to fend. Yeah, we're good. Bro, as a mole player, I've never tar tried tar mortar and never will. While well, trying to target, I click on 10 things. No, thank you. Yeah, it couldn't be annoying as mobile player to use those targetable towers. Okay. Let's try to get some Druid Leaks in. That's 60 down to 29. Alright, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got some druid leaks in, just like that. It's as easy as that, gentlemen. It's as easy as that. Oh my gosh, bro. Relax. I didn't want to fight. Dang, dude. Practicing for the Druid tourney with Mir, bro. Best Druid player in A. Best Druid player east of the Mississippi, dude. Ryan, why did you get a submergent? Why did you get a reactor? You already have Spear of the Forest. Uh, I want to decamo the DTs really quickly, which the reactor has instant decamo. Um, so then my Spear of the Forest can pop the layers. This map is not in the map pool for the Druid tournament. Aw, that is bad news. How dare you do me like that? Why would you do that to me, Bacon? Yeah, I'll be playing in it uh, with Mir. Yo, he he man with the gifted membership. Thank you so much, he he man. Appreciate that a lot. Let me um add that to the member goal for us. That's the first member of the stream. We're at 353 now. Ooh, a new 
Thank you so much, hee hee, man. Enjoy the emotes and badges. You the man. Hee hee. You the man, hee hee. Is he just gonna? What's he gonna do? What's their plan to win this? They send me one set of four or five DT as I boost and defend. If they send me like two sets, I've got to get super storm. So far, doesn't look like they're sending. Don't get that up. They don't have any BD pop and power here, so really. Probably just get preemptive strike on round 30 just to protect myself from infinite DTs. I also have like a 60 life buffs super storm, so my life my super storm's pretty good here. Steel dodge with banana central is so mean. Dude, the steel dodge with banana central is the new meta, bro. It's the new meta. Yeah, there's zero chance to defend a fortified BFB, fortified BD, really. So I'm just expecting some sort of counter rushing. I mean, maybe they can defend if they really put their mind to it. So we'll send another. I don't think they're defending the first one though. Do we have five stacks on these guys? Five, five, yeah. All right. Well. That was an interesting one. Throws Mike Ring for his life, true. Uh, I will say no answer, Dolly. Von Gato. Optimal DS defense on round 31 needs to defend infinite DTs with no life buff, assuming you have tower boost. No life buff, tower boost. Um, if it's, well, if it's DDTs... Versus FDTs, it makes a difference. Um, okay, ports, let's go Cyber Quincy. I normally would go for... If you don't have tower boost, what I do is um, preemptive subcom with uh, Superstorm with max pop plus. Can defend a... A lot of FDTs. It defends infinite DTs, and the FDTs are almost dead when they come out. Um, if it's if it's um, you have boost, then you just need preemptive with boost. I'm pretty sure, and no subcom. I'd be interested in hosting a thousand dollar tourney, five hundred dollars first place, three hundred dollars second, and two hundred dollars third. Grayson Denton. You're are you just saying that or would you actually be interested? Thousand dollars is a lot, bro. To put up. And I'm not like I'm not gonna discredit you or anything, but I'm not sure if I've seen your name around the community much. You could ask for supply again, like last time. What do you mean, ask for supply? The sun god on the side, 
Ace Churchill's interesting here. Definitely an interesting combination. I mean, I, I definitely host one, Grayson, and like, stream it on my YouTube and stuff if you wanted to sponsor a big tournament. I shouldn't have upgraded my farm, by the way. That was dumb. I have to boost now. I'm supposed to get twin I'm supposed to get airburst for round four here. Okay, I need to get this back. Come on, there we go. I have direct contact with Mr. Beast. He'd be interested in hosting a $100,000 tournament on God for real, for real. True. That'd be Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is the biggest Battles 2 player in the world. Okay, against yellows, I'm gonna have my um Cyber Quincy ability back here, so that'll be good. They don't seem to be sending me yellows though. Boat Ace is interesting. Do you know what Hollow Knight is? I do not know what Hollow Knight is. I don't think Mr. Beast really streams. It's the thing. Some highly. You know, it's a good plan, but Mr. Beast doesn't really stream, so. I bet, I bet he would have done it if he did stream, you know. It's a foolproof plan. Seriously? 2100 of selling. Yeah. Nice. So I need one eco boost to get my... There we go. Oh crap, I need to get twin guns on it, don't I? Actually, no, we're fine. I don't need to cross path it. I can just get my bomb up on strong. Subbing now, how does number one balloon popper not know Hollow Knight? I'm sorry, bro. I don't know it. Boat, Ace, Alk, Churchill. Is there a loadout? Is that 023? Is that the camo detection ace? Uh, okay. Well, hmm. We'll probably rush it, right? All out regenerate rainbow. Well, he can use Churchill ability and boost all at once. So sending out all out all at once is probably not a smart decision. Oh, he didn't boost. They're dead. Now they boosted, but they boosted too late. If they insta boosted and used Churchill ability, they would have defended probably all out, and then I would just re rush, but they used boost after everything was gone and got their Alk buff up late. Ace Mortar Farm on this map. Uh, they can probably go either way. Okay, here's the plan. You write a comment under his next video. You, we ask for attorney, and we like the crap out of it. True. Ice Cat four three three two. This guy's in the other. This guy's in the YouTuber clan as well. Frozen Bloom's YouTube. Yes, that does. That's exactly what it means, Pori. I'm glad you um understand. It's a hundred percent what it means. Oasis. Hmm. All right, I'm going to the new meta strategy. 
Go on the new meta shot. Let's move out. Prepare for liberation. Is this a clan war? This is a clan war. Druid Mortar Farm is wild. It's not bad. It's not a bad loadout at all. Druid Sub Farm with Oban does greed harder early game, but this is a better late game. Do I go for... I don't think I go for Striker early, right? kind of want to wait to get Striker up until like round 5. So I can just go for farms, because I don't need Striker early. Can I go for a farm here? Or do I need Light? I don't think I need Lightning, because Druid's so strong on this map. So I think I can go for a farm. Bad Churchill placement? Yeah, normally with Churchill, I place it like right here. With normal Churchill. Yeah, we need to save it for light. Oh, I probably... I'm going to overleak, aren't I? This is bad. I shouldn't have turned it on first so early as well. I'm not going to go with Druid Leaks in later. Yeah, we're fine. I can get some Druid Leaks in later. I still have 41 lives. Not bad. Going for that farm before my druid upgrades, though, is a little risky. As I was saying earlier, you don't have near as much early game greed here. Because you don't have Oban to carry you through the early game. Trust in mortar late game. Opponent's going dart here. So, I don't know what they're using. I think I'll put my striker... No way I'm leaking, bro. What? Lightning. How are you leaking? This is the easy this is the best map for Druid. Okay. Maybe with Striker I won't leak at all. Got a max life buff, dude. This is really the best map for Druid. Lightning should defend. Even if I don't have Oban to help me out. Oh, I should send them black balloons. Does that defend blocks? I don't know, because there's spots behind. I think it actually just defends. Yeah, it, def it just defends. Never mind. What's in whites? You can leak one set of camel greens, yeah. So I can get a little bit of a super storm buff for late game. A little bit. Alright, they send me zebras and you get wrath. Oh, they're sending me yellows anyways. I need wrath anyways there. Okay. No leaks. No leaks. Go for another farm here. Would it be worth the Spear of the Forest and leak again later? That'd be way too difficult because I need to buy Spear of the Forest super early, sell Spear of the Forest. And then try to find a camo AI round after I do that to leak. It's just, it costs too much money and it's not feasible at all. And I also need to like, if you're doing that, you'd want to get max life buff. So I need to use like two Spear of the Forest abilities. So I'd have to wait for the abilities to come around too. Right, I'm kind of tired and want to sleep. Good night. Yo, have a good night, Pori. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it a lot. Alright. The burning stuff and the Druid of Wrath can defend a lot. But if they do send me a decent sized rush, I'll need a Shell Shock. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I thought we would honestly defend that easier than we did, but we're good. That was a little scary. We're fine. Max mortar leaks? Yeah, I got max mortar leaks in. That's what I was going for. I guess uh, shell shock is somewhat necessary, which is unfortunate. Because it's pretty expensive defense. Having to get the signal flare cross path, your druid of wrath, and the shell shock. More, it's a lot more expensive than a reactor and a druid of wrath. Yeah, they're going darts back farm. I use use this in one of my videos. I used Sentai Churchill instead of normal Churchill. And also, my Moab defense is worth worse with this as well. I have to spend a lot more money to defend fortify mobs and normal mobs than um with druid sub farm here. Not even close. He had defense. I feel like bomb mortar farms just better than druid mortar farm. Druid mortar struggles too much to um, it's too expensive to defend round eleven, round thirteen, and then mob class rushes are not great either. Druid subs just the better play, but bomb mortar farm with striker is not bad. My money situation is too bad to be rough round 20, I think. With how much I have to spend on defense. So I'm just gonna go Pankiko. I should be on first now, probably. I'll aim for around 24 Monkey Wall Street here. We'll be able to eye. Fortified Zeom G though is going to be a problem, isn't it? Especially because I don't have any super uh, sphere of the forest leaks. So, hmm. This is probably a a bat angle. We're gonna stop my eco right there. Alright, it's sending me a, Z, a regular ZMG. Regular ZMG I don't think is going to be that bad. I don't think this will be that bad to defend. Click! Oh my gosh, my mortars weren't following. My mortars were not following where I was clicking. Okay, send sending me like a ton. We're just gonna go for the biggest one. I honestly could go for Spear of the Forest as well. Both work. But since I don't have any life buff, I feel like this is a safer play. This should defend. Maybe Spear of the Forest would have been, uh, No, Spear of the Forest leaks though, makes it a weird going for Spear of the Forest. Okay, we're defending. We're good, biggest one going crazy. 
The biggest one is so good on this map as well. It has... The explosion works really well on this map. Does it defend DTs? It should. At least un unfortified DTs it definitely defends. I don't know if it's about fortified. Unfortified on boost it probably defends. Unboost it would defend them. And if it stops defending them, I could sell my farms for a um pop and all. And the pop and all would be good. So I'm not at risk of being de killed with DTs here. I don't I don't think I'm at, at much of a risk. Or I could sell my farms for a blue incineration as well. Alright, we sold my signal flare for my monkey wall street. Because what else are you gonna do? I think I can defend round 30. I can defend one fortified bad. Avatar of Wrath and Blue Incineration will defend. Ava fortified bad. I don't need Super Storm. Avatar, Wrath, Blue Incineration. Because with my Blue Incineration and the biggest one, I'll be fine against the insides. on strong expect them to send me a fortified bad okay oh it's a normal bad normal bad should not be that bad <laughs> a normal bad should not be that bad you get it I'm funny I put this on follow mouse We'll get up another signal flare here. What I want to do is stall the DTs when they come out. Stun them. It's going to be important for me. So I need to wait for the DT to get decamoed. Stun. Just like that. That should pop the DTs pretty well. Yep. Okay, he's sending me more DTs. We're good against those. Yeah, we'll be fine against this. And then this should be able to pop down the ZMGs, and then my biggest one gets the insides. Yeah, look at that, guys. You guys sleeping on the biggest one, bro. You guys been sleeping on the biggest one. I mean, the opponent's just going a bad loadout in this matchup, Petro. Like, he doesn't really have much... If he doesn't rush at all, I just defend everything late game with really good farms. If he rushes... Then I'll have worse farms, but they, they can't defend anything with their loadout, so it's... The opponent really didn't have much of a choice. That should be your nickname, Ryan? It should. Yeah, you want middle crosspath on the biggest one for late game. It shoots faster, so it gets a better stole. Is the, um... Is the idea. Wait, was that my third match? It was, okay. Why do you want leaks on Spear of the Forest? So, your Spear, Spear of the Forest attacks faster, but I didn't even go for a Spear of the Forest because I didn't get any leaks, so it wasn't really worth. But if I did was able to get leaks, it would have been worth, is the idea. D Camel for Shattering. Biggest one pops blacks, it does. We got ports, bro. I don't want to play this map. Dang it. 
This is not the map I wanted to play here. Oh well. You have other hats? I do. Most en enthusiastic ports reaction? That's true. It's funny how he, his name is 5-0 when yesterday when I wasn't streaming, I queued him twice and I beat him both times. So I, he just doesn't count the games he lo loses in his name, I guess. Or the previous stream where I beat him a ton. Is that Rhymehawk merch you're wearing? It is, indeed. W merch, W merch indeed. The zero can't be changed, that's true. I didn't get my farm in time for the banana, that sucks, dude. I didn't get the banana that I needed. Unlucky. Game losing minus forty dollars, true. The banana that upgrades Quincy, yep. How much longer are you going to be streaming for? I'm not sure. Why? Why do you ask, good sir? Okay, we seem to be doing decent here. Right, black balloons get barbed darts here. Okay, why are my submarines now not popping balloons? We've got twin guns, I guess. Cuter than Winston? Not true. Impossible. Cuter than Winston challenge? Impossible edition. Ryan, will you be streaming for exactly 17 more minutes? Don't ask me. Don't ask how I know. How do you know?
All right. Oh, he might count the win now because it's live streamed, but the games we play that aren't live, he definitely doesn't count. And in the games before he started counting, he didn't count when I won them, so. You forgot the laughing emote? I'm not going to laughing emote on him, bro. Never saw someone with Cyber Quincy. Cyber Quincy is just built different. What do I want to play on Sands of Time here? Or do I want to skip? Might want to skip. We'll skip. Castle runes. Hmm. Hmm. Striker Johannes. They're going. Win. I don't know what I want to do here. Um, I'll go boat mortar farm. Prepare for liberation. I'd start with boat right here, I think. I haven't played this strategy in a while, so I don't really remember the flow chart entirely, but we'll cook with it. Opponent's going dartling, because they're going dartling win. I definitely got that grape shot too early. I'd stop my eco, which isn't good, but it's fine. Does bomb sub farm the meta? On a lot of maps, I'd say so. Get hot shot here. I think we just save up for the cannon ship off the rip. Unfortunate as unfortunate as that is, you can't really greed for farms first without Gwendolyn. The Gwendolyn differential chat. And maybe layering some pinks, blue, uh, yells over this will do damage because they're. Defense is towards the back end. Yes, we'll deal with some decent damage towards my opponent. They actually upgraded to Cocktail, so they minimize leaks a little bit, but also their Gwendolyn's not gonna buff their Dartlings with their placements, is a problem for my opponent. Their Dartlings are too far away from their Gwyn, so they're not gonna get any Pierce buffs. Alright, let's get my farm down. Probably end up going for Striker Johannes round five. As Gwyn also does an anti stall. There, Gwyn's. See, with Gwyn, you want to either have it buff your Dartlings or hit the balloons early to apply the fire effect. With his placement, it accomplishes neither. So it's just a bad Gwyn spot. I think I'll place. Striker right here. Yeah, you can see their Dartlings are struggling a ton because they don't have the extra Pierce from Gwyn, so they're gonna need a 0-2-2. Two, two. They send me Black Balloons. I think I'll need long range, unfortunately. Eh, they're not sending me Blacks, though. So I'm I think I'm fine against White Balloons for the most part. Or actually, I could go for faster shooting. I can go for Top Path Boat because... I try top path because I have um I have mortar. So I have D camo. So we can go top path boat. Replacement for ice on boat ice farm. Uh I mean you can try a boat mortar farm with striker, which is what I'm using, but boat ice farm is better if you're on star or sands of time. 
Ice is just not that strong on this map. And this strategy is more reliant on mortar defense instead of boat defense. So only having like two boat spots or three boat spots is okay. Top path got buffed, right? Yes, it did get buffed. So faster shooting, I think, shoots even faster than it did before. Which is nice. If they send me region zebras, I'll probably just boost against it. Because this definitely doesn't defend region zebras, and I don't have the level 5 striker yet as well, which helps me pop zebra layers. Oh, I think bro tuned into the stream and maybe heard me talking about region zebras. Wait, does this defend region zebras? Nah, we got a boost. If they send me a big rush, I just get Shell Shock up and I'm good. I don't think they will, though. Signal Flare. Alright, I'm pretty safe with my defense. It's a pretty strong defense. Especially now that I have level 5 Striker, which makes um me pop Zebra Balloons with my defense. This should defend pretty well, and if I use Striker ability against Rushes. So we'll try to get a second Plantation up for... Camo AI would be an issue. I mean, I have 93 lives, so... I could have just tanked Camo AI for a bit, and then got... My Signal Flare up. And against Camo AI, I just target my Signal Flare a little bit higher here, like right there. And it'll decamo the Camo AI. Um, for my boat and stuff. Give false info to the snipers. I could, but I didn't know he was sniping until then. Oh, it's Darling Elk Farm. Okay. Darling Elk Farm, so... They do kind of have a late game advantage here, because they can just get into Permabrew with a bunch of... Um, bads and stuff to defend. So I might have to be aggressive. They can probably just passive this. Hmm. I don't know what to send them, though. Well, who is the best Jericho? Probably, um... Star Captain or Highwayman. It's but, but debated between those two. You got to be risen me. True. Petro, bro, you're... Bro, we literally just talked about this and oh my gosh, you're missing the point. Trying to be 2000 IQ, dude. Yeah, if he sends me fortified Moab, then I can just get up some defense. Oh, I didn't get... I need Destroyer here, kinda. I just boost. Yeah, we're gonna boost. We don't wanna use our last boost, though. We don't wanna use our last boost, so... If they re-rush me for Fortified Mob or something, I get Destroyer. Petro, we figured out he was stream sniping, so I was trying to give him bad information on how to play the game. Find you round 34 asking for a friend. I 
I don't know what that means. We fit a third boat? Yeah, I, I won't with my placement, so I can sell the boats later and just replace. I don't really need a third boat, to be honest, right now. How much do you sell for? 8.5. That's like... 25k? 30k, roughly, of selling. And all of that. Okay. So after this round ends, I should be able to afford my, um... Monkeynomics pretty easily. I'm just gonna wait till I get the round income from this, because it's a short round. Perfect. Easy defense. A ZMG against boat. And I don't think I'm gonna boat pull this. I think I'm gonna defend it the old fashioned way with mortar. I'm gonna defend it the swaggy way. Swagalicious way. The destroyer should do pretty well to pop the pop layer here. And then I can just use eight bad abilities. This is where I would have liked to have three boat spots. For sure. This is exactly where I would have liked to have three boat spots. And I probably should have boat pulled, I'll be honest. But I've already committed to this, so we're defending without boat pool. I lied. I lied, I lied. If he boosts Rocket Storm and Firestorm, I think he defends. Oh, no, he doesn't target his Dartling, though. Oh, with me, where's the um with me, where's the donation, bro? Said you donate a hundred thousand dollars. Where is it, brother? Round for sixty T's. Oh hey, thank you for the donation. Oh I got <laughs> thank you for the sixty nine bits with me. That's close to a hundred thousand dollars, so I'll give it to you. It's very, um, very close to the amount. Sorry, Ryan GG's. I was on mobile, so I targeting, um, well, you know, that makes sense. That makes sense, Mr. Wi Fi. Oh, GG, bro. Oh, <laughs> you didn't change his name, chat. Who would have guessed? He did not end up changing his name. Um, I think I'll go highway, man. Bomb sub farm. Gotta go, Ryan. Good luck and home. You'll see you with nice Wi-Fi. Thank you for stopping by. So he'll he'll add a, a the first number if he wins, but he won't change the O if he lose the zero if he loses. Is how it works. Makes sense. Average eSport. Moment.
Dang, how did I leak so much, bro? Even with a tower boost, that's kind of crazy. Oh well, he leaked more than me, so I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I got my Jericho round too, so I'm gonna get later camos on him. I guess Star Captain's probably just the better hero here for this map. I said that last time, I didn't change my hero. That wasn't very smart for me. I probably should have used Star Captain. I forced a boost on their end. fine. Wait, are we tied on boosts here? Didn't they use a boost against something? I'm not actually in a terrible position then. We're tied on boosts and balloon boosts, I'm pretty sure. Fine. Not even close. Yeah, Star Captain's definitely the better play here, though. I have realized pretty quickly. I should have been using Star Captain. I'm dead. I was... Dude. That's so unlucky. I was at 2540 when I should have afforded it. I was $60 off my reactor when I needed it. I had 2540. If I got it up then, I would have been fine. That's so unlucky. I was $60 off of it when I needed it. Next time on that map, I'll just use Star Captain. That's definitely a Star Captain map. I was $60 off my reactor. I just didn't get those bananas when I needed them. Oh, he changed Yeah, look at that. Look at that. He, he changed it for the win, but he cha didn't change it for the loss. Look at that. What, what do you expect from eSport, to be honest?
what you gotta expect from eSport. I love playing eSport every single stream for half the stream. And then Jakibi really has a great, great, great matchmaking design where this is possible. Every single stream, I just play the same person the entire stream. Did he really beat you six times? Yeah, but I've also beaten him more than six times. That he just hasn't counted. We're talking the previous multiple streams. He only counts the times he wins in the name. Also, I missed up my start. So we're just gonna do the, the Withmere start route, I guess. That doesn't hit out. Oh, it's unfortunate placement. Yeah, the starting with the blade shooter is much better than this. I would have had more eco and same or same or more lives right now. I definitely like the blade shooter start better. Yo, Kevin Gaming, thank you for the raid, bro. Appreciate it a lot. Hope you had a good stream. Welcome. They did use two balloon boosts at me, or actually no, they used one balloon boost. So that is something. That is something indeed. Love you, Ryan. Yo, love you too, Aaron. How's it going, bro? Kevin Gaming 64 raid. Fire emoji. Fire emoji indeed. How many boats can you fit? You can fit four boats in this spot if you place them well, but most of the time you don't really even need to fit more than two because games don't go late. Who won your tournament? Oh, I'm losted.
Let me guess, Ryan, eSport, you facing right now? Yeah. And I've faced him the ha half of the games of my last, like, st every stream in the last, like, year. It's absurd, dude. Not even close. Not even close. Not even close. I forgot that he had arrows, dude. I sent when he had Quincy arrows available, which was dumb. I sent like a big rush into them. Oh yeah, still 6-0, still 6-0 for sure. Koru? Um? Open Mortar Farm. By the way, who is eSport? Someone who's cheated in this game, uh, shared accounts, boosted, done everything, got banned on like five different accounts, and just comes back with a new account every time to stream snipe me every stream. This guy's going wizard with Quincy. That's interesting. I'm loving Azili Tak from Mortar on Koru. Not Tak from Wizard. Azili Tak from Mortar is weird. On last, yeah, it is okay. They send me anything but reds, yeah. I'm gonna faster ranks here. I, isn't that wizard getting a buff in the next update? I think he has a um, a two's a two upgrades in the top path. I think it was getting a buff of some sort. Yeah, they went for a wall of fire. Alright. $200 cheaper. 
Better seeking and it's cheaper. Gotcha. I was gonna say I thought I heard that they got up. Was getting a buff. Average boomer start. Hey, a lot of the time you can't even get a farm down before you get your um bionic up if you're bringing Jericho with it. So I'm happy. I didn't boost. Have to boost while doing that. Now, if I was against Jericho, it'd be different because obviously camels are a problem. But I know that I'm safe leaking that far when I'm not against Jericho because I don't have to worry about camels. They're gonna send me yellows probably. You just go for a mortar, I think. Wait on it. There it is. Perfect. First. We're good. Wizard boat from my opponent is interesting. Is this like Foxy Ops's friend or something? Okay, how am I like leaking more to black balloons when I actually have a mortar on the map versus when I didn't have a mortar on the map I was full defending blacks? I don't. Ninja Kiwi, please explain. They send me region zebras, I probably just boost against them. It does if the opponent doesn't rush you. They went for a shimmer. Okay, I'll probably send them round 13. Given, yep, that's that's definitely what it is. Um, Smiley. I think you got it. You nailed it, bro. If they rush me, I'll just be ready. Oh, there's something. Boost. Okay. What a strategy from my opponent. Well, well, well. The opponent is not cooking. Ha ha ha. He water frying, true. The game of all time. Certainly one of the matches of all time. Certainly one of the matches of all time. I dodged eSport, by the way. I canceled before I found the opponent, so I uh, made sure that eSport didn't get sniped me. L eSport. Darling super farm, maybe? Hmm. Where do I want to go? Let's go a different strat. Let's go this. Dar dr uh, sub, sniper, super. Well, best dodge of all time. True. How do you know when it's eSport? Because it's going to be eSport every other game. Since you can't snipe someone two matches in a row normally. So, since I played a match against someone else... Yeah. So I played a match against someone else, it's... That one would have been eSport.
Esport is trash. We know this. Okay. Boomer Quincy for my opponent. Um, my submarine down here. Okay, no leaks. Someone request this? No. You can set up stream delay to when stream striping although that has its downsides. It doesn't circumvent it that well, Vodora, due to whole master's queue times being quite long. And then also he can just find out what the what esports just gonna do is use it to find out how long this uh how long the stream delay is, and then also I respond to chat messages late. It won't even avoid it, it'll just make my stream quality go down. There's no there's no good way to avoid it. I, I've tried hiding the screen. All of the stuff, it doesn't really avoid it that well. You just have to deal with it. It's just something that comes along with streaming. People are going to be annoying and spend their entire life to stream snipe you. At least the only good thing about this means that it means that he is watching my stream, so. I appreciate the ad revenue, eSport. I guess that's the one thing that's good from it. I know he is watching my stream. Sounds like a hardcore ban fan. Yeah, he's definitely a hardcore fan. I mean, he's definitely watched my stream more than pretty much most of the people here, because he stream snipes me every stream for the last, like, two years, so. This guy's been, um, helping my numbers. Is this one not gonna affect- oh no, it does get affected, okay. Yeah, he's my biggest fan. You're still alive, I am. Okay, that's, um... This one will be my reactor here. Actually, not the best reactor spot, and I'll see. I should place my reactor on the left. It's normally where I place it, like, right here, but... Oh, well. I'll need the reactor for around 11. Use Cocktail here to buy me time. One Eco Boost so I can get the reactor up. Perfect. This one will be on strong. It's, wait, what the heck? Boomer Ninja. Does that have decamo on it? I assume it does. I don't know. I can't tell if it has decamo or not. I think it does? Yeah, it does. It's not worth rushing then. Especially with the ex how expensive camel rushes are these days. With inflation and everything. It's not worth. And they have Quincy too, so if it misses anything Quincy, you can just pick it up.
Yeah, I don't like my reactor spot too much. I should have placed my reactor to the left of my ballistic. It would have been better right here. But it's fine. Man, if station hits hard even in balloons, it does, dude. It does hit hard in balloons. Can I play agents you in the next game? I don't know what that means. Can I play agents you in the next game? Not sure what you're asking. You can snipe me. Rather you have you snipe me than play against eSport for the thousandth time. I'm back, Ryan. Welcome back. How's it going? Nice Wi-Fi. Um, this is a bit of a problem. I think this probably defends with cocktail. Yeah, we're good. They're going Ninja NG Boomerang. That's certainly an interesting loadout. This sells for 2,400, so I need 3k, roughly. There we go. Perfect. Is he rushing me? He is. Now, against this, I'm going to use... Yeah, we're good. Little firestorm action. Yeah, I don't really care too much if someone snipes me like a game or two per stream. It's just gets very annoying if it's every stream five over five times a stream. Like, I understand people want to play against me, but it's annoying in, in excess. Ryan, do you have a video where you use Boomer or Spack Highwayman on Glade? I don't think I do, uh, BTD player. Thank you for the highlighted message, though. Yeah, we got my elite sniper up now, which is great. We're making some solid money from this. Hey, we're gonna have a strat for you, but I can't get your attention. What's the strat? Alchemist sub farm or alchemist sub village. It's a troll strat. Alchemist sub farm or alchemist sub village. Okay. Maybe at some point I'll use it. I think I've used elk sub farm before. We'll switch to black balloon eco here now. Probably stop my eco during round 25. Oh no, he doesn't. I don't. He said in Discord as well, he doesn't like playing against me. He just does it to annoy me and ruin my streams. It's the only reason he does it. Which I already knew. Glue sub farm is the best, for real, for real. Glue sub farm is actually OP. Okay. Stop, 3,750 eco. There we go. 
it's in between DTs, I can get up a, um, Moab's, what's it called? A store. Actually, I don't think I need it. Yeah, we don't need it. We don't need main Moab against one DT. How many, how many sniper farms do I have? Wait, crap. He's sending me another one. Now I actually need it. That one caught me off guard. I think once I get like 14, 15 sniper farms, it's worth for me to get an energizer up. Let me count. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, I'm almost there. Saving up for the energizer. I'll go for one more first. Now we save up for the Energizer. Uh, we don't have it placed. Right here is a fine spot. Actually, no, I don't want to have it placed there. Because I want to get a temple there later. I don't want to sacrifice it. One for zero for your sniper farms. You don't sacrifice crossbow? No, I don't. Sniper farms aren't really good late game damage. I. I just have them as farms only, and just build up super monkeys for late game. They do very minimal late game, de de uh, late game damage, so I don't even think buying cross path on them is really worth. You're just spending money. I, I, buy, I buy cross path on my elite sniper though. Elite sniper I get large caliber on. So that is the one that I do buy cross path on. Okay, no rush means I keep going for sniper farms. Yeah, Bulldog Ninja is definitely playable. I've used it before, I think, in a couple of videos. It's not terrible. I wouldn't say it's great, but not bad. We got, the only problem is with Sun Sun Temple on this map, I only get military and magic sacrifices. I don't get support, so it's definitely a big L. Not getting support, but it still gives plus one damage, which is pretty helpful for Sun Avatars. Especially when I have this much money. So we'll get Sun Temple here, probably. I have the life advantage as well, so there's no point to rush. Even though they would die. If he's not rushing, I'm gonna go for more sniper farms. Just build them up a little bit. Every sniper farm here is worth 360 eco, I think, because I get the energizer, so it changes it from 300 eco to 360. Uh, it's it's support that gives you camo, but I have submarine in my loadout, so I have a decamo, Zinni. But yeah, it's, it's support that gives you camo. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for sniper farms here. I'm just gonna start saving up for defense now. If I go too many sniper farms and they rush me, I'm not gonna be able to react in time and sell everything. And it puts me at a risk. Even though I'll get more money. Ripple Moab. Nope. 
Oh, no! I forgot that my decamo's all the way at the bottom. Oh, I just sold so hard. I didn't remember- I forgot that my decamo is after all my defense. The decamo sold me. The decamo sold me. Dang. Unfortunate. If my decamo was in a better position there, DTs aren't an issue at all. But... Yeah, it is what it is. Wireless headset moment. Well, we dodged Esport again, so that's nice. Okay, I'll go- I'll go sub elk farm for you. Nice Wi-Fi. You wanted to mirror me, sub elk farm? I'll go sub elk farm for you. What do I want to bring with sub elk farm here? Hero-wise. I go Gwyn. Alright, don't know how to play this loadout, but I'll figure it out. Um, we will... What's the best tackle village maps? Uh, Star. It's really the only map I run the strategy on. Star with Gwyn here. I don't like their Gwyn spot, because their Gwyn's not going to buff their subs. And it kind of gets blocked where it's at. From the balloons at the end. Oh, they're starting with the Alchemist. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, bro. I feel like substart's definitely ideal here. Right? I'll start with the submarine. Alright, one eco boost so I can get my farm down. No, the round started. Do I still go for farm? I think I will. Twin guns. We're chilling. Yeah, I don't like my opponent's um flow chart of defense here. Don't think this is a good way to play Subalk Farm. Submarine is just such a good starting tower now after all the buffs they gave it for no reason. Especially when with paired with Gwendolyn, which will give it Pierce round five. What's the best targeting for air bursts is the question. Dude, their triple gun spot is so bad. Wi-Fi, bro, you're not cooking. Who let this man in the kitchen? Oh my gosh. Can a reactor be alk buffed? Never seen someone do buff before? Yeah, a reactor, reactor can be alk buffed. Bro is not cooking. My defense is like so much cheaper than theirs and it's defending. And their defense is not. 
shows you the importance of placements and stuff. They're almost dead. They're dead. Oh, do they clutch up? One life? What a clutch. Well done, well done. Okay, I have a small farm advantage right now, guys. I've got a small farm lead here. Left side sub, SMH? What? No. He just has bad placements and his Gwendolyn didn't buff his subs. It's not because I'm on left side that I'm doing better than him. Now here, I'm actually going to get middle path on my reactor. And you might wonder why. Because I don't need lead popping, I have Gwendolyn. Um, the reason I'm getting middle path is because middle path pairs better with the alchemist. If I have bottom path reactor... It um attacks too fast and the Alk buff will run out really quickly. If I have middle path, the Alk buff doesn't run out instantly. So if I need to Alk buff my reactor, middle path is going to be better. Alright, we're good. We're chilling. Should I go for? I should probably go for a rubber gold, huh? Yeah, let's save up for that. I should have went for it earlier and got my lead to gold for round fourteen, but we'll still get it up. It's better late than never, you know. It probably wasn't needed against the small send Ataria. I don't think it, Cocktail was necessary there, but I just used it just to be safe. Okay, wait. I don't have any Moab class damage here. Round 16 and opponents saying late game. <laughs> Yeah, sounds about right. They built up a ballistic preemptively. Preemptive ballistic moment. Now you have to go late game because he said late game. True. I'm gonna go 1500 eco here. I should actually probably should upgrade the farm. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. If they send me Moab, probably go for. Do I go for a submarine to pop the Moab or do I go for Alchemist to pop the fortified Moab? Maybe Alchemist. Perishing potions with acid pools or something. Still nothing from them. Perishing Potions actually does pretty bad against normal mobs, but it has a big increased fortified damage, so it is pretty decent against fortified. Okay. 
Probably end up being around 23 Monkey Wall Street here. We've got them slightly out farmed. Slightly, slightly out farmed here. There we go. Let's send him one of these. Balloon booster as well. We'll get back to 1500 eco here. He goes for a uh, that against a BFB. I don't really like his. I guess that probably defends with ballistics. It's an interesting play against a BFB. Well, it's gonna run out soon. He might have used it too early. No, he got it in time. Nicely done. I don't know. I feel like you can defend a BFB probably four or five BFB cheaper than that with Firestorm from Gwendolyn and some submarine upgrades. I think that might have been a slight overreaction. Okay, almost died against the that. Nicely done. I'm dead. My alk buff reactor did not work. Dang! What? I thought the alk buff reactor would actually do something, bro. Oh well. That was that was sad. The Elk Buff Reactor did nothing, dude. One Life Clutch, yeah. Oh, I should've just went for a Transforming Tonic there, or got up a Ballistic Missile. I mean, there were so many things I could've done. I had plenty of money to defend as well. I was just trolling, and I thought the Elk Buff Reactor would actually... ...pop... ...it. Valley Fan Club? Yeah, I mean... I, I know there's like 10 different ways I could've defended that easily. And I had money for it. I wanted to see how good Alkbuff Reactor would do. And it failed me. So, I mean, that's what you get. Um, But, guys, that is actually going to be it for the stream. But I do have something very important that I want to send you guys to. Look at this. I have created the Ryan Mahalik Official Battles 2 Ult Eco Guide. It's going to give you all the information on heli farms. Sniper farms, uh, druid farms, show you how to use them, all of that. So everybody go head over to the Ryan Mahalik YouTube video. It just got released. I'm spamming it in the chat. I'm raiding myself. Yes, I know. I'm raiding myself. Everybody go over. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Peace out, guys. Comment raid 